Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create a simple calculator. Creating a calculator is a common task in the field of UX design, as it is an application that is widely used across different operating systems. I will guide you through the process of creating a simple calculator using Axure. While the concept of a calculator may seem straightforward, implementing it in Axure requires understanding and applying complex logic. By engaging in this exercise, you will gain valuable insights into Axure's logic and its practical application in creating interactive prototypes. First, let's set up the widgets. Drag and drop a rectangle to create the framework of the calculator. Then, drag and drop another rectangle to create the background of the display. Drag and drop a text field to create the display. Adjust the text size, set the text alignment to right, and name it input. Next, drag and drop rectangles to create the buttons. Enter the text on each button and resize them accordingly. Select the rightmost buttons and change their fill color to gray. Set selection group for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division buttons. Next, let's add a loaded interaction to the page. Set the value of the variable onload variable to replace and the value of the variable saved underscore number to empty. Then, let's set the interactions for buttons 1 to 9. Select button 1 and add a click interaction. Add a condition. If the value of the variable flag is joined, Set the value of the text field input to target.text, this.text. Else if the value of the variable flag is replace. Set the value of the text field input to this.text. and set the value of the variable flag to rejoin Next, let's set the interaction for button 0. Select button 0 and add a click interaction. Add a condition, if the value of the variable flag is join or the text in the input field is 0, Set the value of the input field to target.text, this.text. Else if the value of the variable flag is replace. Set the value of the input field to zero. 
Now, let's set the interaction for the dot button. Select the dot button and add a click interaction. Add a condition. If the text on the widget input does not contain dot and the value of the variable flag is joined, set the text of the input field to target.text and set the variable flag to join. Add an else if condition. If text on widget input does not contain not and the value of the variable flag is replace, Set the text of the input field to zero and set the variable flag to join. Here, we need to add a dot at the end of the expression in the input field. Now, let's set the interaction for the AC button. Add a click interaction. Set the text of the input field to zero. Set the value of the variable flag to replace. And set the value of the variable saved underscore number to empty. Next, let's set the interaction for the plus or minus button. Add a click interaction and set the text of the input field to target.text. Then, let's set the interaction for the percent button. Add a click interaction and set the text of the input field to target.text slash 100. Let's set the interactions for the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division buttons. Select the slash button and add a click interaction. Add a condition. If the value of the variable saved underscore number is empty, set the value of the variable saved underscore number to the text in the input field. Select this and set the value of the variable flag to replace. Add an else if condition. Set the text of the input field to Saved underscore number slash LVAR1. Select this. Set the value of the variable saved underscore number to the text on the widget input and set the value of the variable flag to replace. Copy and paste this interaction to the multiply, subtract, and add buttons, and modify the forward slash symbol in the input value accordingly. Finally, let's set the interaction for the equal sign button. 
Add a click interaction and add conditions. If asterisk is selected, set the input text to saved underscore number LVAR1. Set the variable value flag to replace. Set the variable value saved underscore number to blank. Else, if selected of slash equals tour, set text input to saved underscore number slash LVAR1. Else if the selected option is minus, set the input text to saved underscore number minus LVAR1. Else if the selected option is plus, set the input text to saved underscore number plus LVAR1. Preview the prototype. Click on the buttons to input 12 plus 9, then click equal sign to see the result 21. Click AC to reset the input field to 0. Click 7, then click plus or minus to change the sign to minus 7, and click plus or minus again to change it back to 7. Feel free to try creating a simple calculator yourself. If you like my video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel.